Now, for the final time, let's talk about Ultraman Decker. I genuinely believe that this is the way you should end off an Ultraman show. From every member of God Select being worried of Kanata's health and not wanting him to fight, but he needs to, because Raimon came up with a plan to finally destroy the Mother of Spheres. A part of that plan is working with the Ultraman. And when Taiji asks how they even can communicate with them, Kanata comes up and tells them he's Decker, to Taiji's shock. Well, I was surprised that Taiji didn't know about it, because it is an Ultraman show and it still is kind of a dino homage, so I thought we are going to get a Captain Hibiki moment. But no, he didn't know that Kanata was actually Decker. I thought we are going to get that Hibiki moment in the final episode of Dina, but we didn't. It was a surprise. But it was a welcomed one. Ichika doesn't agree with Waimon's plan because it would be dangerous to Kanata to fight in his state because he can actually die from that plan. She believes that he fought and suffered alone, but Kanata assures her that he didn't because he had them to fall on. The actress that plays Ichika did an amazing job showing how sad and angry she was towards Kanata. I love the moment when Taiji reminisce on Kanata in training, coming in a year later and trying to catch up to everyone. And he even brought back the thing that he said about the three youngest members, Raimon being the observant genius, Ichika being the straightforward genius, and I think for the first time, if I can remember correctly, he said that Asumi is a hard-working genius and how much he is proud of the team that he assembled. And to give some sort of a break from the serious tone of that scene, both Taiji and Soa discover that Kengo is Ultraman Trigger. In the end, Taiji approves of the operation and he leaves it in the commanding hands of the now Deputy Captain Raimon. And the plan goes like this. Raimon and Ichika are going to distract slash fight the Spheres and the Mother of Spheres while Kengo arrives and starts absorbing all of the Eternity Core energy from her and give it to Kanata that he would be able to transform into Decker and fight alongside Hanjiro in the Terra Phaser while they are aiming to her weak spot being her chest. It's kind of interesting that Raimon is actually flying the God's Hawk like, no one else except Hanjiro actually flew it. I love that Kanata gave Ichika the same advice that Taiji gave to him about flying out with the Guts Falcon. And everything with Kengo was really cool, the way that he transformed and the really cool passing when Kanata transformed. And finally, he's pulling an actual trigger! But there is a hiccup in their plan because the Mother of Spheres unleashes an army of spheres onto them, pretty much capturing them. The Mother of Spheres tells them that she wants to make the entire universe one life form to stop conflict and sadness. But Kanata objects to that idea with a really great speech, telling her that, yeah, we're not perfect, we make mistakes, but it's fine because that makes us different and Kanata's light actually free everybody from the spheres and the entirety of God Select go to battle against the Mother of Spheres. I absolutely love that scene, showing the best of an Ultraman protagonist in Kanata. And I also love the little detail of Kanata inside of the sphere resembling the first episode. They all fight the Mother of Spheres and I really liked that for the most of the fight, she repeatedly say all become one and the entire fight was shot beautifully and the usage of everything that God Select has from the God's Hawk to the Falcon to the North Sadeus and the Terra Phaser was really cool, but in the end, Kanata finishes her off with the rest of the Sphere Soldiers with his Soul Gem Beam, and probably with a little hint of the power of the Eternity Core. Both of the D-Flasher and the Dimension Card Holder disappears. Kanata actually gets to see Agamas and Leia together and happy. Kengo comes to Kanata 
and Kanata tells him that he never really found what lies beyond the fight, but he's fine with it because he's going to continue living the way he is. The rest of God Select run towards Kanata. They tell him that the spheres also disappeared from Mars. The series ends with a sea of ships coming back to Earth from Mars, and both of Kanata's parents are in them. Thank you, Super Art Production, for this amazing show. Well, this is it. Ultraman Decker is pretty much done, and I'm I'm happy. Tell you the truth, I don't really want to go all out with what I thought about this season because I am right now writing my entire series review, so that would come probably next week. But that's it, until at least the final episode movie that's going to come out next month. So what's next? Well, you need to wait for that because I am really working on it and probably around next week I'm probably going to have some sort of a hint of what Ultraman content would be on this channel, at least until the debut of Ultraman Blazer. So yeah, comment below, let me know what you thought about this episode, did you like it, did you hate it, what's your overall thought on Ultraman Decker? So yeah, thank you very much. Like the video, subscribe to my channel if you already didn't. I want to thank each and every one of you for this ride. It's been an amazing time to review Decker almost every week. Thank you. Have a great rest of your day.